On this journey, we knew there would be surprises in store. We expected to meet new people and hear untold stories to learn the truths behind the lore. Along the way, we discovered the hidden gems of Ireland. We arrived in Ireland on a shoestring budget. Working with what we had available to us at the time of filming, we are striving for improvements for better programming in the future. I'm nervous. Hmm. I am. That's we're moms. Oh yeah, absolutely yeah. <laughs> and they're going to see the mom life. Yeah, yeah. We're, That's the thing. Well, and there's the other thing. I mean, for myself, and this is this is public knowledge, so I don't have any problem saying this. But I've lost six babies. Hmm. Hmm. I've I've lost six. Mm -hmm. I have one living child out of seven. Yeah. So that's. I don't know how I'm going to yeah. be able to handle that. <laughs> I've been blessed. I, I didn't suffer from any miscarriages or anything like that. I have mm -hmm. um, healthy children, thank, thank goodness. <clears throat> What's going to be tough for me is... You're um, more about the political aspect, um, criminal well, aspect. I'm, I'm more about the, the justice or, yeah. or the injustice that injustice. was done, mm -hmm. seeking the justice. Um, I'll have to keep my... Um, investigator hat on firmly yeah um well, you also... will you will ask questions in your own head how did they build a housing estate where mm -hmm. you could go nearly six feet in the ground yeah and not pick up on it right they did right they did right. we have it written by one of the old council workers who said yes there was bound for uh, bones found but the county council told us to leave them back in throw them back in you see, sure and it just during the seventies. Working, when that was, yeah. yeah, working through my years when I was working as an EMT and firefighter. Um, we had I'm trying to do this without had several calls that stick with you. Oh yeah, absolutely. And when I heard about these children, it started going through my mind. Every child that we've coded. Yep. That we could not get back. Yep. These kids didn't even have that opportunity. Hmm. They didn't even make it to that. And then no. the indignity being thrown into a septic tank, and which is septic yes. tank. You know that, that right is sewer yes. tank. Yeah, that's what it is. That infuriated yeah. me. Yes. Twelve. Found out. Twelve vaults, which is basically twelve open septic tanks. That's what we can't wrap our brain around. That that is. Okay, so we understand, Gwen and I both, she was um, no police, apology, no apologies, no apologies. No. she was police, EMT, firefighter, mm -hmm. I'm in pediatric dentistry, I work with underserved children, some of my patients are in shackles, some of my patients are three years old with head to toe cigarette mm -hmm. burns, mm -hmm. so I mean, I we both get that, we understand infant mortality, we understand things happen, we get that, yeah. what we cannot, will never be able to wrap our brains around is no proper burials. Yep. We knew the task at hand was going to be an emotional one, but we had no idea all the lies, all the cover-ups that was laying before us. We also knew that we were going to have to take a road trip. It's basically about 47 to 50 minutes away, southwest of Balladrine. It's a 50 minute direct way. It would take a little longer by bus, being that we would have to make a few stops and one layover. Why thrown into the sewage tanks? That is as if they were nothing. nothing. Yep, nothing. And the, 
And here's the kicker as well. When we were investigating that, we found out there are living yes. nuns who have worked there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So there is justice there if you, if they wanted it. But the government don't want it. The government no. want to sweep it under the carpet. Right. Even our Taoiseach, Leo Varadkar, he turned around and he said, well, he said, I personally can't apologise because it's nothing got to do with me. But I'm trying to get the church. Now, when the Pope came over, Pope came over last year, and he, 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 he flew into Knock here, and we had some of his priests, you know, like, you know the watchman priests? Mm -hmm. Staying here. Staying in room two and four. Right? For yeah. for two weeks before and one week after he left. And um, these guys you did you didn't want to fuck with. No. I mean these guys were like I say they were probably SAS Navy SEAL first, mm -hmm. then a priest. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Right. These guys, yeah, like the like they were oh you just did even Mick came in and I Mick was here one night and they all had walked in a single file into the room, done. And Mick was like, yeah, you just, you, I wouldn't even fuck with them. You know what I mean? You don't. So they were here. <coughs> and when the Pope came, he had, there were two things Ireland wanted. Apology for the um, sex abuse. Mm -hmm. Apology for the baby mom, uh, the mother and baby, mother homes. baby homes, right? He got, they got three apologies. One for the baby in home, one for the child abuse, and one for the manual laundries. Really? Yeah, he apologized for the for the failure of the church. He said the failure of the church, and I think a lot of people then sided with him because he was the first one. First one, Pope Francis. Pope Francis. Yes, yeah. I knew. I love that man. To yeah. turn around reason. and yeah. publicly say that yes, the church was wrong. I knew there was a reason. I love that man. Yeah. I've said it since day one. I love so Pope he's, Francis. He's he's in favor of everything. He's in favor of the full investigation too. Wow. You know, about it. Yeah, he's in favour of all that criminality stuff coming up. He's actually, he's the first Pope to fire priests. What? In Whoa. centuries. Like, he can, you know, he can do what, what he's allowed to do. It's not just him, it's the council of Fekri, mm -hmm. right. whatever it is. And he'll go in and he say, I want to say this, I want to say this. And they'll say, yes, no, maybe. Mm -hmm. He might be small, but he's formidable. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Now he's the only pope as well not sitting a gold throne. I'm not surprised. Yeah, no I, gold ro I robes on him. No nothing. Yeah. Christmas time he'll wear the proper garment. Mm -hmm. When he's doing mass or that, it's normal mass mm -hmm. clothes, and he yeah. won't sit on a gold throne. I he am... won't sit. It, 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 the every other priest, mm -hmm. including John Paul, which I mm -hmm. love, brilliant. He priest. is going by. Um, I don't know how they would call it here, but back home. Um, he's he's doing what we call the the true teachings. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. Of, of his faith. Yeah. Of Absolutely. His, you know, From a son of a, a, right. the, the carpenter. And yeah. You know I mean? Son of a and carpenter. Just like with, Jesus Christ. Yeah. yeah. And just like with um, you're talking about you know how he won't sit on the gold throne and stuff like that. This, I respect him so much mm -hmm. because he is so genuine. Oh, yes. Yeah, he's probably one of the most one of the, one of the most genuine. Yeah. He is so genuine, and he, it's like. I don't like I don't like to use the word judge because it's such a strong word. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Um, but I do have my opinion, Absolutely. like everybody else does. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think he's probably one of the the grandest things that's happened. In yeah. a long time. Absolutely. For mankind, period. Yes, Absolutely. regardless of your faith. Exactly. I, he actually has given me hope yes. that we might make it through this. Well, I'm baptized Catholic. Okay. I have since parted ways Absolutely. in that way, but I have known since day one that, that Pope Francis was somebody to be respected and looked up to, and I, he's proven that. He has proven that time and time and time again. And so to know that there might be even a small amount of justice coming to the, the tomb babies, yeah. the mother and baby home, I don't think I could be more pleased. I don't think it's... It, it, I think the I'm, timing yeah. is really working in our favor. I, 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 I do I really too. Do. I am still very nervous. I, I oh, really I'm, am. I'm not going to deny. I'm, I'm, I'm nervous about it as well. Yes. Okay, so Vanessa and I, Vanessa and I have been walking for what feels like for miles. Mm -hmm. It's showing it to the right. 
which it's not. We already know that, so it, it must mean here. We're trying to find the site of the mother and baby home. And <laughs> it's proven to be a challenge, actually. Yes, yes it is. People have tried to be helpful. They truly have. Um, I think it's just easy to get turned around a little bit. So we shall continue on until we locate it, hopefully, soon. Mm -hmm. It does come it in a very different way. <laughs> One of the main reasons we came to Ireland was to document the history, the hardships, the paranormal activity of its people and one of probably the most significant events or one of the many significant events that happened here on this land is the tragedy with the mother and baby home, especially in Tomb. Gwen and I are getting ready to actually walk onto the land where all of these children were put into septic tanks from the nuns, the Bon Secure nuns. So bear with us as we take you with us on this journey. It's not going to be easy. difficult to wrap our brains around what has happened here. We can't quite figure out if this is honoring or doing our best to forget as, as far as the situation goes here. This land, this area right in here is where the bond secure mother and baby home used to reside. And the situation with that was if you were an unwed mother, you were basically kicked out of your family. You were not thought of in the same way. You were shunned. So the only place that you could go in order to, to have your child was a mother and baby home. And they, they dotted the landscape of Ireland. Well, at the mother and baby home here in Tomb, they had an exceptionally high rate of infant mortality up until quite a few decades into this service this service for lack of a better word um, until they figured out that they could basically auction off these children to the highest bidder when it came to illegal options to Americans the children that did not make it and um, they were actually found in sewage tanks in septic tanks on this land which now houses a child's playground. Hypocrisy. Cruel irony. Cruel irony. Penance. Who knows? Who knows? And that's what we're here to document, to show people what you're looking at here, what was here, what should never, ever, ever happen again, and should anything be done about it.
suppose what really stands out, probably more than anything, it's the middle of summer in Ireland, middle of the day. There is not one child on this playground. if you listen closely, the children that you're hearing are in the neighborhood. They are here, living children, but not here. They're not on this playground. We're not here to prove paranormal activity exists on this property. We're not here to get evidence showing, hey, we saw a child ghost. We're not doing that. We're here showing you this is reality. This is where this is where they were haphazardly put to rest, for lack of a better way of putting it. You okay? You just watch your step. <clears throat> right here under our feet. Right here under our feet is where children were, were tossed. They were tossed, not just under our feet. All back there. This housing addition. There has been documented activity, documents of babies crying, of things being moved, of all kinds of attempted spirit communication. They just want to be acknowledged. They just want to be acknowledged. They were not acknowledged in life by those who were sworn to see to their well-being. And in death, people fear acknowledging them. And that is something that is so unbelievably sad. At the end of the day, these are children. That is it. Children. They deserved to be loved. They deserve to be cared for. They deserve to be acknowledged. And we hope that once you guys know all this, that you try to do that. As you can see, some do try. They do try. It's evident in the little socks, in the little slippers. Imagine a young child that would fit in those slippers being put into a septic tank. Look at the love that some try to show with stuffed toys and baby products things that of course they can't use, but it's, it's showing them that they care. How hard is that? It isn't about things that go bump in the night. It isn't about being scared. It's about honoring. These are approximately all of the names, and there could be more of these children who were forgotten by the very ones that were supposed to take care of them, cast aside.
This is what we're talking about, folks. This is how you honor your deceased. Gwen, how do you feel? I feel... I lost my words. Blessed and burdened. I just... I see this and I see basically a genocide. Absolutely. I, I don't know any other word to describe it. The there isn't. Of, of children. Um, even if they were sick and were dying, they still deserve love. They still deserve care. And for them to be treated the way they were and to be viewed upon the way they were just because their mother wasn't married. It's such a double-edged bullet because they had nothing to do with it. They didn't ask to be born. No. No, they did not. You know? And ask to be born. No. No, they did not. Ask to be born. No. Ask to be born. No. We understand as good as anyone infant mortality. We get it. We understand that. We understand that things happen. We understand that we weren't living here during specific times when people were viewed a certain way. We get that. What we cannot, have not, and probably will never wrap our brains around is putting them in sewage tanks. That's what boggles my brain. I can't get past A it. A mass grave in the ground would have yes. been more dignified. Yes. Than a septic tank? Exactly right. Disregard. And you can't say that the higher ups in charge did not know. You can't. Nope. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't. No. As with anything, you have your good and your bad. And unfortunately, I think we've stumbled across something very bad. Worse than I could have imagined. It's just hollow. It's a hollow feeling. It's an absolutely hollow feeling. Unless you're standing on these grounds, you can't possibly know. Yes. And you can't possibly know. This must have been part of the structure or something. I'm, I'm I don't know. I'm taking an educated guess. Yes. It just makes no sense. I don't know if we can ever make sense of this. Something much more significant should be displayed in honor and in remembrance and in reverence of these poor children who never got a chance. And they never got a chance through the choice of others beyond their control. And here we are again, guys. Here we are again, walking right back through it. Not a soul. We actually can see two children in the background playing. They have yet to step through these fences. If that doesn't tell people everything, I don't know what will. Through the neighborhood, we've seen child's chalk with drawings on the ground. We've seen balls, we've seen toys strewn about. Here we are in the middle of a park designated for them to do exactly that. And there's nothing. So even the children, without verbalizing how this area makes them feel, 
have taken a stand. Now we can't say what it's like here any other day of the week. We can't. We admit that. But what we can say is in the middle of the day on an absolutely beautiful day in Ireland where there should be no reason in the world for this area to not be full of children enjoying their day and playing with each other and and having games and anything you could think of in your youth there's not a one think about that and as if things weren't bad enough while we were preparing to leave we decided to try to locate the street view of the address that was pulled up when we decided to pull the location on Google Maps. While we were walking, I felt drawn to a location. Well, we found it. The street view of the Google Maps for Toon Island was from inside this cathedral. More on that later on in this episode. While we sat on the bus waiting for our departure back to Balladrine, we were sitting there just trying to think, wrap our heads around what we just witnessed. Why? What could be any justification for doing what they did? Were they overwhelmed? That's still no excuse. How could you take these young children, infants up to three years of age, as most of them were, and just chunk them down a sewage system? It doesn't make any sense. I understand it was a different time. We get that. Infant mortality. We get that. But through research, we also found that when they discovered, oh, we can adopt these children to Americans, the infant mortality rate suddenly plummeted. Which in itself is human trafficking. Will there ever be any justice for these souls, for these innocent souls whose remains are still laying under that playground in septic tanks? The emotions were running through us, boiling like hot lava. Anger, sadness, confusion, all coming to a boiling point. But we had to get ready. It was almost time for our post-interview. So, we visited, visited the area, and what did you think? Was, it was difficult. It was difficult, although I think we handled it better than what we anticipated. I expected a complete breakdown from both of us, if I'm being honest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I really did. Um, I think we did, too. I, it, I, I think we would have done a disservice Yes. if we didn't handle it the way that we did. Mm -hmm. um, I'm appalled. I'm angry. Unbelievably angry at the the throwaway nature. Yep. But I was mm -hmm. also very inspired by the few that have come there and even even very recently paid homage, tried to show respect, tried to show some semblance of love mm -hmm. to these children that were cast aside. I mean, for, for no other reason than being born out of wedlock. There is no other reason. There's no reason yep. that that would have happened. And then little baby shoes. Yeah. yeah. Baby shoes. Yeah. Um, somebody brought a a big red plush heart with little little yeah. legs dangling mm -hmm. from it that was sitting there. Um baby products. Oh mm -hmm. yeah. All baby yeah. products. Yeah. I mean lotions. Yeah, but none of that existed before they found out that there actually was there. Mm -hmm. you know I mean? mm -hmm. Even the list was there a list of names there? Yes. There is. Yeah. Yes. That there didn't is a exist. list. That, wow. didn't, that was hidden away for years until Catherine broke the whole thing and demanded a list of people who supposedly now there's loads more on the list that's not there yeah oh yeah so oh, yeah. these are the ones that are, are were found the, the the documents were found there's loads the simple there. fact that the that this list even existed yeah goes to show the depth of just how secretive this was i don't understand it i really don't and then to have a playground built 
on top of it. That was what we couldn't understand is this It was like a cruel irony. Yeah. It was yes. very, very cold. Yes. You know, and not just a playground, mind you. The housing estate. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, yeah, the housing But what I, one of the first things I said about the playground when Vanessa and I were leaving, I was like, you know, it wasn't bad enough. It was just a playground. Mm -hmm. They had to put asphalt on top of it, too. Yeah. Which means you can't dig in it without city approval. You know, so. if there was green space, anybody could go in there with a shovel. They might get in trouble. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if there was green space, anybody could go in there with a shovel. Well, well, the rumor was that a lot of the survivors wanting to prove it had dug. Mm -hmm. But um, you see, the, the builders of the housing estate for the council, they're all county council houses, right? Uh, are on record saying that they did see bones. But their commanders and chiefs told them to not just pull them back. Pave over it, and they reckon you know. that some of the babies were so small they would have went out in the pipes. So even to get those babies back, they're gone. Do you know what I mean? So, oh my that's word! The thing. Yeah, yeah. Today, we get off the bus and we're sitting there looking at our our phones, you know, trying to figure out the best route to get around there. You kept getting a picture of a church. Well, the funny thing <laughs> was, okay. We get off and we're talking to this this gentleman sees us. I guess he could tell we were obviously had no idea where we were. <laughs> no idea. I don't know how that could be so obvious. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, he uh, we told him what we, what we were on us. We just told him what we were there for. Mm -hmm. And he kind of looked a little hesitant at first, but then it was like, "This is this is my window. This yeah, is our this is our moment. We did what we could do there." On the way back, we uh, were chased down by the individual who we met off the bus. Kept Knowing hearing my somebody name. yelling, Vanessa, <laughs> Vanessa. And I was like, what? We turn around and look, and he comes running up, has his piece of paper with the name and everything on it. Um, and he was very grateful that we were there. Um, he seemed to have been very pleased with the way we were going about things. Mm. And... Um, because while we were there at the memorial and at the, you know, at, at the site, Vanessa and I discussed, we were like, sure, we could try to do an EVP if we wanted to, but it's not needed. No. I, yeah. We both felt like it would be disrespectful. Yeah. You know? I've so, had teams approach me to go down full and night, full to nighttime investigation. Like, no, no. The, the kids are probably sleeping. Yeah. yeah. Leave well, them. let's not forget for a moment that it isn't as if the majority of them can speak to you. Yeah, exactly. And we know they're there. Yes, right. <laughs> we mean, already know they're there. You're not proving there. anything. We're not proving anything. anything. We know they're there. It was just the ignorance of people who didn't know they were there. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like maybe they bought a house in the back there and thought, oh, grand, bit of activity. What's that? Well, yeah. and you'll also have people that now that they know they're there will want oh, to the, sensationalize absolutely. it or, you know, or, or do something even worse and that is promote it to be something that it's not, not. Or, or use it to to advance themselves and that is reprehensible for yes. lack of a better word i've had it yes. yes i've had emails i've had tweets i've had calls i've had dms i've had everything i could i've had people a shamanic warriors coming down telling me i can clear that land no you know i can do this no they cannot I can no. fix this I'm i can sorry. I, I can open a vortex and they'll go all be rested in peace. And I'm thinking, block. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's it. Yes. Block. That's all you can do yeah. in that situation. Yeah. Because yeah. even like, it was such a hidden secret. Mm -hmm. Obviously the people in Tune knew about it, but it was such, it was such a, a hidden, totally conspiracy theory, mm -hmm. blocked down, kicked down, no one knows about it mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Well, when I went down there to investigate, and I'd done that house investigation, I had a clue. Didn't have, but see, when you walk into that estate, you have no, you have no yeah. impact. Yeah. You have no, it's a normal housing estate. Yes. And, <clears throat> and I always look at land first. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's why I always take a walk around. And when I went around that corner and I seen that playground, I was like, oh, grand, that's playground. And I went around, up a little corner, in that little corner. Oh, no way. No way. Realized where I was. Boom. You know? Mm -hmm. And that's where it all started from. Yeah. That's where it all started from. And it was just... 
It's okay. We're just talking, okay? I will never forget. It was around that time that you're talking about when you and I discussed and you asked me to remote view. Mm -hmm. And I told you what I saw. Mm -hmm. and it it was the young girl, babies, not living, mm -hmm. things along those lines. Because I think people forget mothers died too. Yes. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, you know? yeah. Mothers yes. died too. Um, and to see where you've, where you've come with this, where you've taken it, and the respect that you're showing to that area, I think that people could, they need to learn a lesson from that. Mm -hmm. Well, I also want to shed some light on something else as well talking about the, the babies and, and the mothers. And there may have been some cases, I mean, you know, things happen, and, uh, things that you don't plan happen sometimes. Absolutely. I, I can't help but wonder how many grieving fathers there were that we never knew about. Absolutely. You know, that they knew this was going to be the outcome of their child because of the situation. Absolutely. And it was totally out of their control. Absolutely. Yeah. I can I, I can't imagine the grief that they went through. You know, I I just can't. Um, oh, after the gentleman gave us um, the paper with the information and all, we were walking and we're like, okay, we have a few minutes. Let's go see if we can't find that beautiful structure that we saw. So we walk, we find it. And we're just taking pictures of it. Absolutely gorgeous. You know, rows of trees going down the front of it. I mean, just breathtaking, beautiful, beautiful cathedral. And we get ready to walk away and I looked over and I was like, oh, there's a sign over there. Let's go take a look at it because I like to know what I'm taking pictures of. Yeah. You know, so if I want to look up the history, I, I can. Walked around there and saw the sign. <laughs> and I was like, what? Of the area that I was being drawn to. Mm -hmm. You're yeah. the one that discovered <laughs> this, so I'll let her take it from here. Okay. Um, the area that she was drawn to, ironically enough, when you look up tomb on Google mm -hmm. and go to the map section, and you know how if you if you hit on that little dot, it'll take you to the Google satellite yeah. that shows you the area, right? Like mm -hmm. the street view. Mm -hmm. It's always a street view. Yeah. Yep. I've never in the hundreds or more times that I've used Google Maps that way, have I ever seen anything other than a street view? Until yesterday. And when you go to Tomb and it pulls up the Google Maps, Maps. And, you, and you get the satellite image, it is of inside the Church of the Blessed Assumption. And guess what was on the sign? The Church of the Blessed Assumption. Assumption. Boom. <laughs> Somebody but, wanted to make sure that we knew where it was. But yeah. let but let's let's stop on that for a second here and wonder why of mm. all places you would have a satellite camera mm -hmm. and would it be inside of a church? church. What about sanctuary? What about people coming in and going out for confessions? Yeah. Mm hmm Dude. And it isn't a still shot because you can go into it. And move the camera and oh, see yeah. the entire inside of the church. Did you go in? No. Church, no. We, we just did not have the time. No, no. no. Yeah. yeah, we had to haul Heine back to the bus. <laughs> <laughs> also, too, they may have had something going on because the parking lot was slammed. It really so they was. Might it was have very something. full. Could be something, maybe a funeral. Maybe yeah, funeral might have been. been. Might have been. Yeah. Could have been. Yeah. So it, that was a, yeah. good, a good day then. When I saw that name on that sign and then i'm looking at the church and i looked at vanessa and she was like this is the one that kept popping up on google maps from yeah. the inside and i was like this is interesting we definitely have to come back yeah. couldn't have picked it out of the lineup on the on the outside didn't know no nope. but man inside that you got a bird's eye view yeah mm -hmm. and i'm still trying i'm still trying to wrap my brain around that i don't understand how that's possible yeah it's a satellite I've never seen image. I've never seen that. No. i screenshot it and sent it to susie Brilliant. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know I actually showed me. Yeah. Like, what? Yeah. Yes, it's I was inside. When I, looked it up, yeah. I couldn't get it. It's inside no. the church. Did you just no, When that? I looked it up, I couldn't get it. Yeah, did yeah. someone go, hmm? 
No, no. When he looked it up, he couldn't get it. It didn't show him the same thing. He couldn't get into it. I think I knew. I knew a certain night. I thought I heard another noise though. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I might be hearing things. It's been a long day. It. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was the other thing. I think something that Gwen and I didn't really expect because we weren't technically investigating. But from our feet burning yeah. while we were there on, on the land. On, yeah. on the land where the remains are. And that feels like it's more of an electrical heat. It's uh -huh. not hell or anything like that. I don't want anyone to take that and run with it no. because I'll find you. Yeah. Um, but from that to just the sheer energy of the place, we were exhausted. Out of everything we've done, and you know what we've done, mm -hmm. out of yeah. everything we've done the entire time we've been here, that zapped us the most. Yeah. Because, as a matter of fact, when we got back, I was so tired. I could barely hold my eyes open. Yeah, because I, I was bathing Jacob, and Sue said, they're, I said, they're home. I can go down to them. Oh, grand, yeah. She, they probably want to talk mm -hmm. and have coffees and stuff. And Susie goes, well, no. Gwen's wrecked. Yeah. Gwen's sunk. I mean, in, you I were guess, falling asleep as you're talking I, about I was. I was. <laughs> and I kept apologizing yeah. to her. And she was like, no, 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 it's okay. I said, yeah. the only thing I can figure, it wasn't the walking around. It wasn't. No, we're used yeah. to that. We're, we're totally used to that. <laughs> yeah. I think what zapped me so much was that energy pulling me this mm -hmm. entire yes. time trying Telling to get me you. to come over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Once I found it, it was like, okay, Whoa. you know, yeah. yeah. And yeah. I just felt, I mean, I, I could not hold my eyes open. <laughs> it, it was unreal. Historian Catherine Corliss was the one leading the charge to find the remains of hundreds of babies and children who were discarded into the sewage system by the mother and baby home. Nobody believed her until blunt proof was there. Up until recent years, the site of St. Mary's House, a home for mothers and children, was only rumored to have human remains. The home ran in operation from 1925 until 1961. During excavation, remains of bodies ages ranging from premature babies to three years old were discovered most dating from 1950s. Catherine herself grew up in the area and remembered attending school with children from the home, which was owned by the Sisters of Bon Secours, in turn is a Roman Catholic order. The home itself was torn down in the 70s, where a housing development was then built. Due to Catherine's determination in history of this home and others like it, going global and getting attention along with the help of the film titled Philomena. Commission of Investigation into Mother and Baby Homes was created in 2015. It is important to remember that there are still survivors from this home to this date. Survivors that had siblings that didn't make it out alive. Since our filming, more discussions have been made for further excavations and identifications. Let's hope that there is a follow-through and some closure for these souls and their families.